All right, so ALF FAA sent me a 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter and I've been wanting one of these. What I have right now is I have a Harbor Freight Jupiter modified sine wave inverter. I actually have two of these, one in here and basically what I got going on here, this is this whole entire cabin, me, it's totally, it works, everything, it's got full functioning, the whole deal. Me and S Sandy S has built it from the ground up. Here's the other 1500 watt modified sine wave inverter. You know, and for this fridge, we could really use a pure sine wave inverter. And this and the solar panels and stuff run that and she's got coffee running, but that's actually running off of a generator because I do have shore power, but it's not shore power. It is a generator out there which is remote start which is pretty awesome the modified sine wave inverter that i'm going to be replacing is going to be this one this is this fan and this is running off of this battery bank which is connected to it's got two shore charging chargers on it it's got those two solar panels right there and it's got a bunch of it's got two more solar panels running through that right now this fan is running off of this inverter and this battery bank and this plug right here it's shore power so you know it's, so you can hear it so basically i'm gonna do a show you the difference in sound from using right now it's on battery power using the modified sine wave inverter it's kind of loud Okay, so now I'm going to switch it over to shore power. It runs better, you know, it doesn't use as much power because it's pure sine wave through the shore power. You can hear the difference. Roughly when you're using like right here with this plugged into the modified sine wave inverter, it's using about 20% more power and it doesn't run as good. You know, I mean, you can totally completely hear it. So basically when I swap this out, you know, I'm gonna know the difference in this new inverter just by listening to it because I've got an example right there. So, you know, I'm, I'm gonna know right away. And the reason that I want I'm trying to switch everything to pure sine wave inverters. The company sent me this, so I'm gonna go ahead and this will be my first one. So I'm gonna swap it out. And you know, I mean this right here, this inverter at nighttime and a lot during the day too. I, we don't use a generator barely at all, only for doing stuff like S Sandy S is right now. She's cooking bacon and eggs and getting ready to like make sandwiches and stuff. So, you know, and she's got coffee going. That's all in the, uh, the shore power. So, you know, we only use it for stuff like that. The water heater, we use it. This heater during the winter, you know, for showers and stuff like that. The washi, washer dryer, we use the, uh, the shore power for that as well. A lot of times I'm running, you know, this digital TV. I got a laptop here, I got a printer. You know, I gotta do business from up here. And, you know, it's a lot of sensitive electronics, including, you know, these chargers, all these battery chargers that I do run off of the battery bank. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up real quick here. And there she is. So now I'm gonna go ahead and yank this off the wall put this on the wall and plug all this stuff in and you know show how this works and everything this is a 1500 watt deal and it's 12 volt and it's got a couple usb ports as well and yeah it's a l f f a a and the link is in the description so you can go ahead and grab that off amazon you know if you want to get it it's like a medium priced one from you know the research i did and stuff so go ahead and swap these out and I'll know with that fan, the way that fan sounds. If you're interested in seeing how we built this fully functioning off-grid cabin from the ground up, click the link in the description.
All right, so I was in the middle of taking apart the modified sine wave inverter, and I was thinking, you know, maybe people don't understand all the benefits of a pure sine wave inverter, so I'll go ahead and explain it a little bit more. See, it basically, like, in your sensitive electronic stuff, you know, digital TVs, computers, you know, stuff like that, uh, especially refrigerators, you know, you want to have a pure, a more, like, lay down sine wave that's not as jumpy basically so basically like a pure sine wave is you know it's just a little bit more straighter <laughs> and it it won't tear up your uh, electric motors and very sensitive electrical equipment quite as quickly and it also is more power efficient and actually probably a couple months ago pal mister sent me this mppt solar charge controller and you know it's been doing great you know right now i have 200 watts coming into it of course it's not ideal condition so it shows me how many watts i'm actually bringing in right now which is pretty freaking cool and i'll go ahead and put the link to that at the bottom of the screen as well i'm not going to show how to plug in the new inverter or any of that stuff because more than likely if you're thinking about pure sine wave inverters you know a little bit about this stuff by now so i shouldn't have to go ahead and explain how to set it up you should already probably already had a modified and are doing like i'm doing and making a switch to the pure all right now i have everything plugged in and plugged up to the battery bank here so let's go ahead and power on and see if that fan sounds different. Okay, that's the way it sounds with the pure sine wave inverter. I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the previous clip right now okay so that's what it sounded like with the modified sine wave inverter i can definitely hear that this sounds much smoother you know and hopefully it will um use less power as well and i like this it uh shows you what you got going on here it shows your battery power which is pretty cool so far so good you know definitely uh definitely awesome and i can definitely hear the difference so thank you for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe